Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. This evening, we will pray the evening prayer, of course, and it is for the 25th week in Ordinary Time, Sunday evening's prayer. It's actually evening prayer number two. So, let us begin. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our prayer this evening, or rather our hymn this evening, is on page 661 of the fourth volume in the four-volume set. It's uh, in week one of the Psalter, and we uh, will begin uh, as a recitation. O Christ, you are the light and day which drives away the night, the ever-shining Son of God, the pledge of future light. As now the evening shadows fall, please grant us, Lord, we pray, a quiet night to rest in you until the break of day. Remember us, poor mortal men, we humbly ask, O Lord, and may your presence in our souls be now our great reward. The Lord will stretch forth his mighty scepter from Zion, and he will reign forever. Hallelujah. The Lord's revelation to my master. Sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will yield, will wield rather from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. Lord has sworn, the Lord has sworn an oath, he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, we ask you to give us victory and peace. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, we are already seated at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in the fellowship of all your saints in our heavenly homeland. The Lord will stretch forth his mighty scepter from Zion. He will reign forever. Alleluia. The earth is shaken to its depths before the glory of your face. When Israel came forth from Egypt, Jacob's sons from an alien people, Judah became the Lord's temple, Israel became his kingdom. The sea fled at the sight, and the Jordan turned back on, back on its course, and the mountains leaped like rams, and the hills like yearling sheep. Why was it? See that you fled, that you turned back Jordan on your course, mountains that you leap like rams, hills like yearling sheep. Tremble, O earth, before the Lord in the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool and flint into a spring of water. <clears throat> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Almighty God, ever living mystery of unity and trinity, you gave life to the new Israel by birth from water and spirit, and made it chose a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a people set apart as your eternal possession. May all those who have called to, you have called to walk in the splendor of new light render you fitting service and adoration. The earth is shaken to its depths before the glory of your face. All power is yours, Lord God, our mighty King. Alleluia. Alleluia. Salvation, glory, and power to our God. Alleluia. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing praise to our God, all you his servants. 
Hallelujah. All who worship him reverently, great and small. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord, our all-powerful God, is King. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun. Hallelujah. And his bride is prepared to welcome him. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All power is yours, Lord God, our mighty King. Alleluia. Praised be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. The whole creation pro proclaims the greatness of your glory. Eternal ages praise the greatness of your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. No servant can obey two masters. You cannot serve God and the love of money at the same time. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. No servant can obey two masters. You cannot serve God and the love of money at the same time. Christ the Lord is our head. We are his members. In joy let us call out to him, Lord, may your kingdom come. Christ our Savior, make your church a more vivid symbol of your unity of all mankind. Make it more effectively the sacrament of salvation for all peoples. Lord, may your kingdom come. Through your presence, God, the College of Bishop, guide rather the College of Bishops in union with the Pope. Give them the gifts of unity, love, and peace. Lord, may your kingdom come. Bind all Christians more closely to yourself, their divine head. Lead them to proclaim your kingdom by the witness of, you, of their lives. Lord, may your kingdom come. And grant peace to the world. Let every land flourish in justice and security. Lord, may your kingdom come and grant to the dead the glory of resurrection, and give us a share in their happiness. Lord, may your kingdom come. And now we combine all our prayers into one, and we pray as our Lord Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you.
and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.